Hello, and welcome to a very special unboxing of Shoyedo Incense. This is a brand that I discovered while I was at a local shop, and I found one of their samplers, and it was unlike anything I'd ever experienced. I have long enjoyed the Japanese style incense. These are the affordable, like, Morningstar brand from Nippon Kodo, uh, and cedar and pine and sandalwood, and these are okay fragrances. They're really good for everyday use, and they don't have a stick, in, like a wooden skewer inside, so it's a lighter scent. You don't have to worry about like a heavy smoke-filled room. You just pretty much get the purity of the fragrance. And these are okay, but the Shoyedo stuff really has captured <laughs> my fancy. Um, it arrived lightning fast, and this is the box it arrived in. It was like two days after my order. Like, it seems even before I got the confirmation email that stuff was at my door. And it did come with packing peanuts. Uh, so, take that how you will. And then this is, mostly what I got were samplers. So this is how most of them came packaged. And then some of the longer ones came in this. So everything's nicely protected. And I don't really expect that anything's going to be broken. Um, it's... <sighs> This is the costliest incense I've ever bought in my life. And pretty soon we'll get to, well, I guess I'll save it for last, but you know, it's, it's up there. Uh, the thing is, these trees that they source the resins from are rare, desirable, expensive. And uh, there's a great tradition in Japan of using ancient woods in the incense ceremony. It's something I'm not really very versed in, but I love exploring YouTube videos about it lately. So if you watch Beginning Japanology's uh, incense video, it's like a 30 minute um, show where they're telling you about the incense ceremony and they really do a good job of outlining everything. And it's something I would love to experience, but this is gonna be the closest I'm gonna get for a little while, I think. So some of these rare and desirable woods are uh, natural ingredients, I guess, resins and things the tree will produce to protect themselves from invaders or insects or damage or something, they become the elements of the fragrance. So we're going to just first go through this little pack. They did include, they mentioned on their website with your first order, if you uh, write something in the comments about it being your first order, you get a free sample, but they gave me two free samples, which was nice. But it was kind of a pricey purchase, so. And I mean, it's all very obvious, I'm certain to them that I'm exploring their range because uh, up until this point, I've only had two of their samplers. Uh, the same sampler twice, but it was just stunning. I'll, I'll go into more details in a little while. All right, so they're packaged in these little plastic, um, well, I don't know, crush-proof things that you would see just for, you know, protection of things being shipped. And they slid them down into the little holes. So these are definitely little samplers. They don't burn for a very long time. So this is just a little whiff. Uh, and they have a pretty wide range. So this one is frankincense, sandalwood, and spicy chai. I couldn't resist these because on average they were about two bucks for each sampler. In some cases a little more, in some cases a little less. Um, and I'm just in love with this stuff. This one is actually listed more uh, professionally with Shoyedo there. The Overtones series looks like, it says it's free, but I think I paid for this one. I'm not sure. Anyway, not too sure. Not really gonna check it out, who knows. We have sandalwood, cinnamon, vanilla, frankincense, and tea leaves. So finding out whether there's a different aroma, for example, between this sandalwood and this sandalwood, hmm, well, we'll see. It's nice to have little, uh, tons of, tons of options though. When I'm going to be lighting incense, I, I've got a pretty good range of both Near Eastern and Far Eastern incense. Um, I always just tend to want to go for this Japanese stuff though. This I think is a magnet. My fridge doesn't have any magnets on it. Magnetic? This is definitely magnetic. It's sticking to my chair. This is going to be the only thing on my fridge. Beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to visit a Shoyedo shop in the real world. Okay.
another instant sampler. This one, a little more fundamental, uh, substantial, I mean. Lots of sticks, and they're all quite long. Another thing you have to do is watch how they make this stuff. It's extruded, and it comes down out of, in the factory, like in these little, um, of course, like, you know, strips. And they cut them off and put them on these drying racks, but the artistry of the guy who goes through and makes everything very uniform, oh, it's beautiful to behold. Okay, here we have another sampler, uh, the Angelic and Jewel series. Soaring Spirits of Angels, Precious Gems. I've always been curious about these. At the shop where I bought my sampler, they had the Jewel series, uh, but they didn't have a, there's, at least at the, in the retail setting, they don't have a Jewel series sampler. They just have a sampler of their everyday incense. So we have incense, peace, hope, joy, and love. From the Angelic series, ooh, it's like a double header. From the Jewel series, Diamond, Ruby, Emerald, Sapphire, and Amethyst. With their attendant sensations that they're supposed to evoke, I guess. The diamond is supposed to give us power, strength. I thought it said awesomeness, but it says awareness. <laughs> from the Emerald, Devotion, Sapphire, and Balance. From the Emerald, I need balance in my life. Everybody. Okay. Really glad I got a magnet instead of just a business card. Okay, another sampler. This is nice. I mean, really, repurposing this stuff, this is just some type of like packing material that they've chopped up. Great, very fine. Nice. Creativity, tranquility, and abundance. Two sticks each. Look how they have indicated that it's two sticks each. I only know it's two sticks because I looked at the bottom. <laughs> but, all right, try each stick. Note your impressions. Oh, maybe they're not indicating, they're not indicating that these are Two incense sticks with each line. It's a place to write down your thoughts. All right. We don't need to worry about that. That's the Kyoto Moon Incense Sampler. Very nice. So I think that their best selling stuff is probably their mid range. Well, I guess their their low range is probably you know, a competitor's mid range. Um, and in these everyday scents that we're about to get to, they weren't a uniform price across all of them. And in fact, the one that I liked the most, I think, was the priciest. Maybe like seven or eight bucks for 36, I don't really remember. But here we have the Aesthetics Incense Series from Shoyedo. Fine, fine stuff. Beautiful. Hanoka, Kasumi, and Oboro. This one is intriguing to me. Another sampler. We have Matsunotomo. Not mistaken, this might be what they're calling the friend of pine sample. Not sure. Because it's green. It's probably piney. And the Shredo is in incense. So these are all based on Zen. Sitting Zen, morning Zen, and evening Zen. And I believe these two are featured at my local shop. I'd love to go and buy the stuff at my local shop. Uh, if I find one. That I like. And here we have the Ranka Orchid Sampler. Okay, this was another one of the free ones. Awesome. All right, now here we're going into this nicely packaged protected thing. All right, before we get to the big one, I'll show you the sampler that uh, made me uh, discover this brand. Whew. Just laying my eyes on this again makes me happy. So this is the one you can probably find most easily. And it retails for about $4, so like 50 cents a stick. Um, online you can find like other uh, things that they previously had on the retail market uh, that had like 10 sticks, and some various other ones. And I recommend, if you buy this, just going down the line. And everything seems pretty conventional as you're going through. You're like, oh, this is just a pretty good natural sandalwood scent. And the next one is like, oh, yeah, that's not so bad. But then they just get weirder and weirder. And at first, it was off-putting. But eventually, after, I would always chop up the sticks, of course. These pricey sticks, you know, you really want to appreciate them while they're burning. So I sit there right with them. Um, and as I was exploring them, like, I was really, I was, I was struck with it quality of it. And the one that's Moss Garden is good, then Kyoto Autumn Leaves. Golden Pavilion is the one that was the shock shocker at first. 
Kyoto Cherry Blossoms, Five Hills, and White Cloud. My favorite of them is Five Hills. And it's just so difficult to put into words. Mm, but just, if you go to the shop, you can just see that they're open air, open to the air. And just that aroma lets you know that you're in for something sweet. On the boxes of these individual incenses at the shop, they do list all the ingredients. And it just seems to be a few, uh, a very spare number of ingredients. Wonderful stuff. Okay, this also arrived. Ten virtues of co incense. And just as we get into this final one, <laughs> and I'll give you a couple of details about it, we're going to read this on, on uh, to begin. To begin. Just, just, just to get us in the mood. Incense refreshes mind and body, removes impurity, brings alertness. It's a companion in solitude. In the midst of busy affairs, it offers a moment of peace. It enhances a meditative environment. When it is plentiful, one never tires of it. When there is little, one is still satisfied. Age does not change its efficacy. Used every day, it does no harm. All right. Compiled in the 16th century. So this is some, uh, I don't know what modern medicine would say about this stuff, but you know, it's, just, it's still interesting to, uh, to learn about it. Twelve generations of incense makers. All right, go check out their website if you want. I mean, I, I couldn't have found this stuff anywhere else. It did ship from the States, so very fast. Now, this is the one that I was just going to order this alone because after a couple of days of getting online and researching this stuff, I thought, I've just got to have it. It was 26 bucks for this little sample. Nine incense sticks. You do the math. And they're not even as long as these. You can see that they're like half the length. So, is it worth it? When you're buying luxury goods, you just sort of have to decide on a case-by-case -case basis. I thought that this was kind of an unappealing packaging. And, you know, I'm not really like opposed to it, but it just doesn't look amazing. This, however, even though it's much smaller than I thought it was gonna be, it is beautiful. Check it out. I'll just fade into the background for a moment here so we can appreciate this together. I think it's beautiful. It kind of looks like the packaging of the cologne I just unboxed. With these little uh, wispy uh, patterns of um, plant matter. Beautiful. But, I mean, once again, a very spare, zen-like aesthetic here being presented. Nine incense sticks handcrafted from fragrant herbs, woods, and spices. No synthetic ingredients. That's the big thing. This is, I mean, you can really, you can tell. And the ones that we have here are, I'll just read them off to you. King's Aroma, Pride of Kyoto, Beckoning Spring, Gentle Smile, Southern Wind, Refinement, Five Clouds, Infinity, and Translucent Path. And then we do get a card, which is kind of nice. And it says premium incense. Like the tip of the incense. That's you know how to do it, how to do the stuff up. Premium incense is legendary. Sublime blends, centuries old recipes, highest grades of agarwood, herbs, and spices, the world's most exquisite natural fragrances. I cannot wait to try it. I'm gonna make a video of um, I'll probably do a video of this one. And just light each one and give you my thoughts. You know, struggle for words to try to tell you how I feel about it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. This is the big, this is the big one for me. It's an exciting new world. I really feel this. Um, I feel excited about it. <laughs> this feel this is it. This agarwood is the resinous, richly scented wood found inside the remains of an expired aquilaria tree. Its wondrous scent is a result of a little understood decomposition process. Agarwood is also known as ginkgo. Aloe's wood, oud, and eagle wood. Oh, oud is an ingredient we often find in fragrances. Mm. It presents complex, visionary aroma like nothing else on earth. Many compare their first experience with Shayo's premium agarwood formulations to noticing luminous new colors in a rainbow or to hearing a beautiful chord in an exotic tune. They can provide a powerful moment of sensory fulfillment to be forever remembered, whether for quiet contemplation as an exceptional gift or simply to create a translucent atmosphere. Oh, 
transcendent. Shaedo's premium incense is without equal. Well, we're going to find out. So, they're packaged in little individual tubes, protected even more. I mean, this is serious level of protection. I mean, this one's a little iffy because when you're pulling out the tray, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. You can see the sticks. Uh, and then this, like, kind of pops up to let you, let you access them. It's a little bit of a bother, though. I mean, they're sort of encouraging you to chop them into threes so that you can have a little bit of a gripping point because these, you can see that it, like, the little dip there. I think you know what I mean. This one, however, yeah, so it's got a little piece of plastic there covering it. Amazing. I mean, they're beautiful. It smells like the bottom of the forest, like the, decomposition, compos the decomposing matter at the bottom of the forest floor. While this one is immediately appealing, mm, with a far sweeter tone, mm, kind of a dried leaves sweet sweetness, this one is more of a, mm, like a mossy, musty, much darker, more savory aroma. Wow. I'm really excited about this. One of them is jet black. Oh, this little card. Oh, it's just like a cigarette thing. It just popped right out. Sort of like that. Hmm. Can't wait for this. And I'm glad to be sharing it with you. Beautiful. If you know someone who loves incense, um, they won't be disappointed receiving something so beautifully packaged uh, of the utmost quality. I already know I'm going to like it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to choose one of these random samples and light it up and uh, take you along on the adventure of uh, sampling these in another video. So thanks for watching.